You saved my son. I owe you my thanks. It's not necessary. Hold on a moment. Aren't you the great Garcia? You bought for Renee, didn't you? Mm. Seth, do you know this man? He was a troop commander for Renee until around 10 years ago. When I was a recruit, the soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They called him a daring and fearless fighter for Rene. Master Garcia, you must know the peril our, our home man faces right now. Can we impose upon you to lend your strength to Rene once again? I'm sorry. I'm retired now. I'm not a soldier anymore. It's a decision I made long ago. Master Garcia, when I was a soldier, I lived my life fighting for my country's honor. I left no time for my family. I spent my life fighting for faceless, uncaring nobles. When, I, when my wife fell ill and died, I met the child she had left behind. At that moment, I finally realized what my duty had cost me. Mm. I stood at my wife's grave and promised her I would be a father to our son. I'm done with armies, I'm done with fighting, except to protect my son. I've no regrets, I'm the boy's father. Oh. You, you blasted fool! Father, what's all this nonsense I'm hearing? Ross! If you're not going, then I will! I'm a fighter! I know I can do this! Ross, what are you saying? I... Dad, please, listen to me! I respect you more than any other man in the world! I know you gave up being a soldier for me, I know that! But how can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're a warrior at heart, you can't give that up and be happy! <laughs> Look at me, Dad, have you seen me fight? I'm not a child anymore, I'm a warrior, like you! You're free to worry, but I can survive on my own. Oh. You want to challenge me, Father? I'm a fighter. I'm the best in all of Ide. I'm not going to lose to you. I'm not going to lose to anyone. You're right. You're a good soldier, Ross. Sir Seth, if these old bones of mine can still serve, I'd like to join you. Dad? Looks like my boy grew up while I wasn't looking. He's tougher than I thought. He doesn't need my help. I've raised him as best I could, but he's right. I've nothing to fear. I should fight. I will fight! Dad! Yay! Thank you so much for your help. Please, stay the night and rest. We would if we could, but we have much to do and far to travel. Your safety is reward enough. Ah, well. My, that is a splendid bracelet you're wearing. Thank you. My father gave this to me. It's a wonderful gift. But you should be careful, wearing such a valuable item so openly. Since Rene was invaded, things have become so dangerous around here. <clears throat> there are gold-hungry thieves and bandits everywhere. Hmm, so we've seen. The most wicked are Basba's bandits. They are cruel, beyond words. If you have something they want, your life is worth less than nothing. Just the other day, they assaulted some travelers and... Oh, who was awful. I, I can't believe such things. Oh, Renee is finished, mark my words. The Grado Empire has stolen our future. Our only hope against them was that Prince Ephraim would prevail, but rumor has it he's on the verge of being crushed by Grado's vast numbers. These dark days travel with care. Mm -hmm. Ephraim. Oh, I'm sorry, did I sound dizzy? I'll turn out to be. Ooh, flashback. Three years ago, my god, they're all gray. It's time to start. Are you ready, Erica? Yes, Ephraim, let's begin. Tell me, though, why do you want me to teach you to fight? I thought you didn't care for violence. I do not like uncivilized behavior. I think one can solve one's problems without fighting. And yet... And yet what? I've always relied on you to protect me, brother. I would rather not be such a burden to you in the future. So, I thought maybe I should learn to protect myself. I'm your brother. Brothers are supposed to protect their sisters, except when they turn evil. It's nothing for you to worry about. It's no cause for concern. Yes, but... I am your sister. Sisters are supposed to worry about their brothers. So, I would like to learn something of swordplay, if only a little. And maybe someday I can protect you in your time of need. Aww. So please, Ephraim. All right, all right, how could I say no? Honestly, once you get an idea into your head, that's it. I might as well give in. It's agreed, I'll teach you. But I won't hold back because you're my sister. And I want no complaining once we've started, Erica. Complain? Me? Never! Oh, 
I bet you whined like anything. Hmm. Oops, beg your pardon. Hey! Princess, are you alright? Yes, someone bumped into me. That is all. I was jarred. Hmm? Your Highness, where is your bla bracelet? My bracelet? It's gone! Where could it be? Did that man... I'll find him! Don't worry about it, Seth. That bracelet was a gift from my father, but Ephraim needs our help. I can't let sentimentality get in the way of my duty. No, Princess. We must retrieve your bracelet regardless of the cost. You cannot lose it. Let's go. We must hurry. Hurry? Where are we going? Oh, well. 